I don't think it is. Yeah. Is the I microphone on? I'm sorry, Steve is gonna. I, the batteries might be running low. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay, my concern is, there well, we <laughs> my, I'm Shauna Buckley, my daughter. She actually plays on the team as well. She's a sophomore. And my concerns are a lot of his concerns, but I just want to reiterate, the coming to practice, like if you're going to hold your girls to a certain standard, then you need to be held to that same standard, and you shouldn't punish them if life happens to them like life happens to you. And all summer, everybody was looking for him you know we have summer league we have you know things that they go to in the summer including the summer league at the high school coaches are calling him trying to find out where he is nobody can get in touch with him he finally shows up maybe when school starts you know and he says well, you know I have things that I have to do well the girls have things that they need to do too but they made a commitment to play basketball and if you commit to them like you want them to commit to you then we feel like you should be there. And we don't need an explanation, but we have capable people here, Coach Bond, Coach Colleen, that are at, at practice every single day, even when he's not there. You know, when we can't get in the gym, Coach Bond, he finds us a place to practice. In districts, you know, we were, to play, we were playing Inkster. He told the team, well, we're not having practice before um, districts because I can't find a gym. He called three gyms in five minutes and got, you know, got him into a gym. That just shows you don't care and you're not trying. But yet, if one of the girls gets sick, don't show up, they got to run or they have to do something outrageous. But you can just go and come when you please. And I don't think that that's fair. Yes, we did have a meeting with uh, Coach Mark and I spoke to the principal about a lot of my concerns, but nothing has come of it nothing has happened you know everything is still the same and um, one one more instance I want to make <laughs> a comment about when we went to uh, country day um, I think it was over Christmas they had a tournament and the girls ended up losing and they got a plaque um, that they got a plaque and the coach coach Kilgore slammed the pack on the ground and it shattered all over the place. He said, I didn't get up to come here and lose. Well, I'm sure that they didn't get up to come here and lose either. But, you know, it's just that you're telling them that the effort that they put up, that they put on out there was worthless. You know, the girls scooped it up, threw it in the trash. He walked over the plaque and he walked out. You know, that's not something that <laughs> I want my daughter to be part of. You know, I have two sons that came up through the system they're both in college, doing well on scholarships, and I would like my daughter to have the same opportunity, but when you have a coach that's saying, well, that's not my job, my job is to win games, it's not what I'm used to. I mean, I understand that, but we have quite a few capable people that are here every single day when he's not, and we feel that he should move on, completely move on. I mean, he's wasting our time, he's not giving the girls any confidence, He's just tearing them down every day, and they don't even want to come back. A lot of them are saying, well, if he's going to be coaching, we're not playing. We only got four, four girls returning, and it's pretty sad, and it hurts my heart because they shouldn't have to go through that. So, I mean, I could say a lot more, but I'm going to let somebody else take the floor, but thanks for listening. Thank you. Hello, my name is Colleen Dumas. I reside at 34388 Beverly Road in Romulus. I am a graduate of Romulus High, and I'm very proud to say I'm a graduate. Um, coaches, we impact lives. We, we instill things so our kids or those young ladies have something to hold on to and make it through life. And they're looking at us. Yes, as coaches, we're scrutinized. We're, we're held to a certain level. Um, this is a great group of girls. One young lady, um, TB, I took her under my wings because it took a lot of courage for her to come 
back after having a child. She went back, you know, back in school, coming to the team. Great young. This is a great group of young ladies. And as coaches, we have to be committed. I came on as a volunteer to do stats and be a part. And Coach Bond spent a lot of time this summer. I didn't know who Coach Kilgore was. I thought it was Coach Faust, the JV coach. But sometimes as coaches, we have to assess ourselves when we're put in position to, to lead young ladies. And I'm hoping that um, they find someone who's capable. Coach Bond is capable. I'm capable of coaching. I'm not here to put him down. I'm just here if it's too much and you're not willing to commit 100%, then it's time to step back. Just like we hold our board, certain people in positions, we are committed. We need to do that. I was in the locker room when the plaque hit the floor. You have to, the girls played their best. We are here to go back, okay, we need to go back to the drawing board. What do we need to do to make things better? This is a learning, they're learning. In life, we lose, but do we give up? Do we say, I mean, we have to show them. You know, my coach impacted my life at Romulus. It's going to be a positive or a negative. These are great girls. They have the ability. They have brought. I'm proud to be part of it because Romulus, my, when I was there, we, didn't, we won the first district championship in the history of the school. But these girls have taken it beyond that. But Coach Kilgore has to, he's not committed. And I, it, it hurts me, too. That's why um, I'm stepping up to speak for the young ladies. Um, the parents are committed. Um, I see no commitment level there. The day before district, one of the biggest games, and you not show up, you not going into the game with the same momentum and the same mindset as the young ladies. Them girls left it all there on that court, double overtime, and they lost. Wow. But they gave everything they had and that's what it's all about I, I'm I played in college you know thank God for Romulus High I went through, through the education but I had some great coaches and we have to hold them to another level I had an opportunity to coach at Romulus in 90 95 96 and I moved on um, but I was evaluated I was evaluated Meriwether evaluated me and told me what I needed to work on so um, it's not fair to the young ladies. So we're hoping that you consider um, the parents' requests. Um, it's just sad. And TV ended up quitting. We end up with seven girls. They had to pull girls from the other t from the JV team, and the, and the parents don't didn't want to move their daughters up because they see what's going on. So. Please consider requests for the parents. Thank you for your time. Thank you. What I it's on this. What I have to say is pretty much uh, what I had to say was pretty much already said um, along the way. I did um, star some things in terms of evaluation and perception surveys. I think that that's very important with any uh, organization at any level is to evaluate what's being done or how we can do things better. And my daughter, this is her last year, she's a senior. This, her experience was absolutely awful. My daughter, I, I raised her to give it, give it her all. She gave it her all and was consistently put down. I've never seen a coach break the morale of his team members like I saw this coach do this season. My daughter, she, she too wanted to quit. But she said, you know what, Mom? I'm not going to quit. She said, because you didn't raise me to be a quitter. And she said, I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I love to do, no matter what these people and his, this person in particular is saying to me or doing to me. Um, I had a situation that I addressed him personally. I did attend the meeting that we had, which I felt dissatisfied with athletics directors' um, handling of it as well, because like Mr. Like Joe said, it's a, it may be a nepotism thing, I don't know. That's speculation, but I wasn't satisfied because I felt like he pretty much stated all his accolades. To me, accolades of the past 
is nothing to me. I want to see what you're doing today with these kids today. You show me with your performance today. And he did not show that. Uh, my daughter, she came to me crying because she had a scout there looking at her. And she came home, she said, Mom, he put me in the game 1.38 seconds to go, knowing that I had this scout there. I brought it to his attention. His statement to me was that he's not concerned with scholarships. He's concerned with winning the game. He knows what he's doing, and he's doing what he needs to do to win the game. This is what he told me. My thing is, it's not about winning. You are not teaching these children sportsmanship because his, his goal, if your goal is winning. And they had a losing, some, some periods of losing during the season, and it wasn't because of the girls. The girls were talented. He had so much talent on that bench that he did not rotate through the, through the games because of whatever reason he had, personal reasons. And I think that we really need to look at that evaluation, have parents involved in the evaluation process because you all, or when I speak to you, you know, the board members, the principal may not see what we see, may not hear these girls' conversation when they come to spend the night at our house and, and see the tears in their eyes. So we need to have parent involvement with the evaluation process as well. And there was another situation, like I said, there was a situation as well with the unprofessionalism. To throw items and break them, my child doesn't see me do that at home. To go and see that happen in an organization where these, these are other people's children that you are involved with. Whether you do that in front of your own, that's your prerogative. But not as a professional working with other, other people's children. There was a chair thrown at one uh, and another incident. This is it's ridiculous. It was utterly ridiculous. Like I said, this was a horrible experience for her, but it also was a learning experience where she knows that although these people may be adults, you still, it doesn't mean that you, I mean, I told her, you know, you respect them because she told me, she said, Mom, I, I speak my mind, but I do it respectfully. But there's adults as well who are put in leadership positions that shouldn't be there and that's a, that's a learning experience for our youth as well. But I just say, I'm going to go now, but please consider our, the people that you serve, our perspective in this situation Thank and the children know. that you serve. I'm sorry, Thompson. I didn't get your name. Fatima Thompson. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this really brief. Okay. Um, I have two stepdaughters on the team, Jordan and Sierra Bond. My name has been Tanya Bond, and um, it just breaks my heart what uh, Mr. Kilgore is doing to our girls. I'm talking about uh, an emotional torment of these girls. And you have to talk to these girls to understand what they're going through. When they come home and tell me they hate him and they want to quit, it's just terrible. It, it breaks your heart to see our girls. And my thing is, it takes a village to raise a child. And if we have a man in leadership over our girls, these are young ladies that they're going to college. And all, of they, all they see from this man is put downs. I'm just so appalled. I am totally disgusted with Mr. Kilgore. And if he's there next year, I promise my daughter, my stepdaughter, will not play for him. I'll take her to Inkster. I'll take her somewhere else because I cannot put up another year. I've been there watching Mr. Kilgore. I'm not going to even call him coach. I'm not, I sit there watching. He has seniors that you know it's their last year and they don't even get to play. How sad is that? Three years in a row I've known girls who will not get in the game on their senior year. We've invi invited coaches from all over. You know, you just don't understand how Romulus has a name. Romulus, when you say Romulus basketball, the, the, the college coaches wants to come and look at our girls. We have college coaches invited, not Mr. Kilgore. Other coaches invite these college coaches to look at our girls so we can get scholarships. Do you know he will not talk to the, our, the college